Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Francisco. This is the bite-sized information for kidney and related diseases. This video blog is destined to help patients with kidney disease or at risk of kidney disease, for example, having type 2 diabetes, to understand better the disease, to come into better terms, also to manage it better and to then have less complications and you know less worries as well. Today we're going to discuss if do you need to control your weight if you have chronic kidney disease? Obviously, you know the answer will be yes, because avoiding excess of weight is necessary in patients with chronic kidney disease, as, and is as important and is for healthy people, and probably even more, yeah? Because they already have a disease, and kidney disease also can uh, contribute to worse metabolism, uh, and also heart disease, etc. No? So excess of waste is associated with many medical problems, including heart, um, you know, kidney problems as well. Excess of weight make your kidneys overwork. Basically, your kidneys will need to clean a larger body, and that does not make them stronger. But on the contrary, with time, they can get fatigued. The microfilters of the kidneys in the beginning get bigger, but then start shrinking and becoming scars. This results in excess of leakage of protein in the urine and faster progression of chronic kidney disease, even faster progression to total kidney failure. So excess of weight is a cause of kidney disease and can make you lose your kidney function faster if you have any other disease of the kidney. Excess of calorie intake is actually one of the most causes of this excess of weight and also the, one of the most important causes for diabetes. That is in fact the most common cause of chronic kidney disease and kidney failure. So for those reasons, it's very important to control the weight. There are recommendations of how many calories a patient uh, should consume, like 30 to 35 kilograms per kilogram, kilogram of body weight. That will be very difficult for you to figure out, but a dietitian can translate that into practical terms. No? In Francisco Kidney Medical Center, we focus a lot on holistic uh, um, and lifestyle approach, including a better diet. Yes, some patients might require restriction. Some patients require restriction and need a more balanced and moderate diet, but everyone should eat a, a healthy diet as, as much as possible, which is balanced, varied, nutritious, and moderate as well. So in Francisco Kidney Medical Center, we focus a lot on diet because as I mentioned, it's actually the source of many of kidney problems or medical and metabolic problems patients have and the source of disease progression or new complications and developing complications so the treatment is the best treatment is actually going to this source and improve that diet and lifestyle yes many patients will require medications but they will work better with a better diet and with the diet you are working on the cells. The medications are usually uh, treating the symptom, treating the complication uh, or trying to bring down what your diet is giving you in excess. So the secret at the end of the day is to try to control your diet. Indeed, there are many restrictions. Sometimes over restriction can cause also malnutrition as I've been mentioning, but with proper advice by an experienced dietitian, you can get a good balance to comply to the restrictions and also receive a good nutrition and also moderation to try to, to avoid excess of weight or, or recover a healthier weight. For your kidney, indeed, but what I tell all my patients, for their overall health. You need to focus on your overall health, on your whole body, and losing weight will benefit your heart, your brain, your circulation, everything, your well-being, and also your physique, and and sometimes even cause mood changes or many other problems. You know, like like sometimes can cause problems some in sleeping or even some depression, some emotional problems. 
you people who lose weight also can control better their blood pressure, better control of diabetes, reduction of medications, that meaning less cost and meaning better health and means less interactions and side effects. The benefits of improving your health and reducing your weight and also acquiring a better lifestyle are huge and immense. Unfortunately, many patients and many doctors uh, find difficulties that sometimes with the right support and the right strategy can be overcome. And that's what we do in, in Francisco Kinder Medical Center and my other company, Olympia Lifestyle by Dr. Francisco. We not only give the, the right plan, the textbook plan, etc. We give a personalized plan based on what we observe, what we as the patients, the medical condition the patients have, and also uh, we go down to find out what are the problems, the, the challenges the patients are have to, to comply to that diet plan, etc. So to try to help them. At the end of the day, sometimes uh, it can be done with the right identification of the problem, the right strategy to solve it. And I believe, uh, you know, in, in my center, we are experts on, on that and, you know, in a in advising patients in in the right diet and healthy diet and, and lifestyle and I have applied those uh, advice and knowledge to my patients and they start receiving a more rounded benefit that if you just say okay your diabetes go worse take more of this medication take the new drug uh, inject more insulin uh, or you tell them oh you, you you should lose weight you should eat less rice you should eat better so you need to go more and deeper and, and listening what are the challenges that could be facing. Uh, maybe it could be a, a, a not permissive diet pattern. Um, could be that they have, uh, you know, not the right conception of certain aspects of diet or treatment, uh, or maybe that they don't believe they can do it. Uh, so I'm going down to, do, to that and start aiming to solve those problems, um, then whatever good strategy you can recommend, it will be easy to implement. So that's why my patients not only are, you know, taking good care of their kidneys, they also take good care of their overall health and receiving a rounded benefit with many other positive changes, not only on the kidney, on their physical well-being, but also the mental and emotional well-being. So, uh, if you like this sort of post, uh, then share the existence of this group with your peers that might have risk for kidney disease, that might have kidney disease, or someone that has got a, a friend or a relative with kidney disease. At the end of the day, I give you my, my advice, my tips, I give you some information. This is one aspect, this is the way I want to help. Um, I can help you also professionally with proper medical advice. You contract me as your doctor. And there are other types of health. You know, there are groups for peer support and other sources that are also valuable. I'm just doing what I, I can do uh, uh, with this. So any comment, any questions, just put it in the comment sections. Otherwise, please at least like the post so it's my motivation to continue doing this because you know there is some work behind uh, uh, some effort behind okay so I'm Dr. Francisco wishing you the best possible health take care bye bye